Hey guys, welcome to the second part of DCT solved question paper solution. In this video, we're going to see another DCT question paper and its solution. Okay, if you're not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to show your support. Okay, let's go. Let's start with first first question. Let's start with the first question. What is given? Tan theta is given. That is five by twelve. So find the value of sine theta minus cos theta. See what we know. We know tan tan theta as opposite by adjacent. So here given as phi over 12. So if I draw a triangle, if this is a theta, this will become opposite. So opposite is given as phi and adjacent is given as 12. We know the triplets as phi, 12 and 13. And also we made an entire video showing how to find this number. Please go and check the video. That is the first video. Okay. So now this becomes phi, 12 and 13. What do we have to find? Sin theta minus cos theta. We have to find sin theta minus cos theta. What is sin theta here? Sin theta is opposite by hypotenuse that is phi over 13. So phi by 13 minus what is cos theta? 12 by 13. So this will be 12 upon 13. So now 13, 13 the denominator is same so LCM will be 13. So phi minus 12 that is minus 7. So the solution for this is minus 7 upon 13 degree. Okay let's go to the next question. What is the next question? Tan of 225 degree and cot of 405 degree. What is given? Tan of 225 degree, cot of 405 degree. So how to solve this? Let's see here. Tan of 225, just taken quadrant system. This is 0, 90, 180, 270 degrees. And again, this will be 360 degrees. Okay, now see here. 225 degrees, this is more than 180. So that will be somewhere here. So this is 225 degree, right? So 225 degree can be written as what? Tan of 180 plus 45 degree. Isn't it? In the same way, cot of 405. 405 means this will become what? If it is 360, if I add 90 to this, that is 450 degree. This will become 450 degrees. Now 405 degrees somewhere here, right? We can call this as 405 degree. So this can be written as what? 360 plus some theta, right? So cot of 360 plus 45 degree. Tan of 180 plus, tan of 180 plus, that is the third quadrant. We can directly see this is in third quadrant. In third quadrant, tan is positive. We will take it tan as it is. Tan 45 degree times, again, quad of 360 plus, 360 plus. We can see this is in first quadrant. In first quadrant, quad is positive. So, we will keep as it is. And 45 degree, we will keep it with it. So, tan 45 is 1. Again, quad 45 is also 1. So, 1 into 1 is 1. Right? This is the second question. Let's go to the third question. Sin 50, sin 20 minus cos 50, sin 20. Okay, I read it wrong. Just write it again. Sin 50 degree, sin 20 degree minus cos 50 degree, sin 20 degree. I, I think the question is little jumbled. Let's, so, let me correct it. This is cos 20 degree. Okay, just, just let's rewrite the question properly. The question is given as sin 50 cos 20 degree minus cos 50 degree sin 20 degree. This is a correct question. Okay, I made it a wrong here. I take it as wrong here. This is a correct question given in as in the question paper. Sin 50 cos 20 minus cos 50 sin 20 degree. This is a given as question. These two don't care. Just think this is a question paper given. See here, this is something looks like sin A cos B minus cos A sin B. Isn't it? See here, if I consider A as 50 degree, if I consider A as 50 degree, sin A cos B as 20 degree. Again, what I can see? Cos A, where A is 50 degree, sin B. So, this sin A cos B minus cos A sin B, this is sin of A minus B. Isn't it? So, this will become sine of, what is the A value? 50 degree. B value is what? 20 degree. So, 50 minus 20 degree. So, sine 50 minus 20, sine 30 degree. So, sine 30 is nothing but 1 over 2. Hey guys, please don't forget to check out the video. We haven't made an entire 40 minutes video about this thing. Okay, at the end of this video, we'll, end of that video, we'll be capable of solving. That is a second video in our playlist. Please go and check that video. It will become very simple to solve. Okay. This question, they have asked you to find cos of A plus B. They have asked you to find cos of A plus B. We know the formula. 
कॉस ऑफ ए प्लस बी इज नथिंग बट कॉस ए कॉस बी माइनस साइन ए साइन बी इज द फॉर्मूला नाउ डेटा इज गिवन कॉस ए इज गिवन एज फिफ्टीन बाई सेवेंटीन कॉस ए इज गिवन कॉस बी इज नॉट गिवन एंड साइन ए इज नॉट गिवन सो हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस सी हियर कॉस ए इज गिवन सो इफ आई कंसिडर दिस एज थीटा सो दिस इज एडजेंट बाई हाइपोटनेस फिफ्टीन बाय सेवेंटीन राइट सो दिस इज एडजेंट बाई हाइपोटनेस दिस विल बी फिफ्टीन दिस विल बी सेवेंटीन राइट आई डोंट नो द एक्स वैल्यू टू फाइंड द एक्स वैल्यू हाउ टू फाइंड hypotenuse square that is 17 square is equal to x square plus 15 square so if you solve this 17 square is what 289 is equal to x square 15 square is what 225 so if i solve this x square is equal to 289 minus 225 289 minus 225 so x square is equal to 9 minus 5 is 4 And eight minus two is six. Two minus two is zero. Sixty-four. So x is nothing but root sixty-four. Root square sixty-four is nothing but eight. X is equal to eight. So x value is eight now. Now cos y is found. Cos y is found. We have to find the sine y, right? To find the sine y, sine y is what? Opposite upon hypotenuse. So eight upon seventeen. Sine y value we have now. Now next. The given data is sine b. Sine b is given data, right? So given data is three by five. So if I write a right angle triangle, if this is theta, opposite by hypotenuse, that is three, and this is five. So if this is not given, if I take x and solve in the same way, I'll get the value as four. Three, four, five is a triplet. So you have to remember. Okay? So we have made an again video on this. Please go and check it. So three, four, and five is an uh, sides of a triangle. Now we have to find cos b. Cos b will be what? Adjacent by hypotenuse. That will become four by five. Now we have all the value that is necessary. So cos of a plus b is nothing but cos a cos b. Cos a value is fifteen by seventeen times cos b. Cos b value is four by five minus sin a. Where is sin a value? This is this eight by seventeen times. And what is the sine b? Sine value is three by five. If I solve this, I should get so cos of a plus b is equal to. See here, I can I can keep the denominator as it is. Seventeen times fifteen, and fifteen fours are five fours are twenty to carry five ones. Four is a four sixty, right? Fifteen fours are sixty. So minus eight threes are twenty four divided by seventeen times five. I'll keep it as it is because the denominator is same. So I can write seventeen into five as it is. And sixty minus twenty four. Ten minus four is six. Five minus two is three. Thirty six upon thirty six upon uh, seventeen times five. So I can write thirty six upon seven five is a thirty five. Three carry five ones a five eighty five. Thirty six upon eighty five. Thirty six upon eighty five is a final answer. Okay, let's go to the next question. So is root of one plus sine two a divided by one minus sine two a. To solve this question, we have to know the formula of one plus sine two a. One plus sine two a is what? Cos a plus sine a whole square, and one minus sine two a is what? Cos a minus sine a whole square. So let's substitute that into the formula. So root of one plus sine two a is what? Cos a plus sine a whole square divided by. So one minus sine two a is this formula. That is cos a minus sine a. Whole square, so I can just take root of root of cos a plus sine a, cos a plus sine a divided by cos a minus sine a whole square, because this square and this square can be written something like this. So this square and this square root can be cancelled, cancelled. So this will be left with cos a. Plus sine a divided by cos a minus sine a. See now, cos a plus sine a, cos a minus sine a is nothing but tan of pi by four plus a. This is another formula that you need to remember. Cos a plus sine a divided by cos a minus sine a is tan of pi by four plus a. This is a formula that you need to remember. Is that good? Yes. Hey guys, 
I hope you enjoyed this DCET uh, question paper solutions video and please share this video with your friends help them and also if you like the way that we teach please support us by liking this video and also don't forget to comment your doubt so that we can make an entire video explaining your doubt and don't forget to check out our full course the link is in the description thanks for watching all the best